Moving back to school now, we all know too well that while back to school is a time of excitement for a fresh year, it can also bring safety back to the forefront of students, parents, and teachers' minds. Today, Ms. Arkansas USA teamed up with a Fayetteville expert in self-defense who opened the doors to teacher, teachers for a free session. As 5 News Lore, reporter Lauren Spencer shows us, the practice focused on fighting off intruders. Let's educate our educators on how to protect their self. Miss Arkansas USA Mackenzie Hindeberger is a second year teacher in Farmington. She says that during her first year in the classroom, she was overwhelmed by thoughts of how to keep her students and herself safe if the worst case scenario were to happen, given how common school shootings have become in the United States. We're in this vicious cycle of these school shootings incidents. I knew that something had to change and something needed to be done and I wanted to feel protected as best as I could. So she decided to make it a top priority in her time as Miss Arkansas. My big initiative as Miss Arkansas USA is school safety and I'm currently partnered with a safety um, organization where we're implementing tools in different schools in Arkansas. One way she did this was reaching out to Cole Soje at Fayetteville Krav Maga. The two partnered together to teach a free self-defense class for local teachers. So Jay asked the teachers what was most important to them to learn, and they asked to be shown the best ways to fight off active shooters and intruders armed with weapons. Is probably most known for being simple, practical, um, gross motor skills, self-defense, um, things that we believe you can actually apply and retain under high stress situations, um, keeping it as simple as possible. Today, teachers worked on basic self-defense as well as how to gain control of possible weapons that enter the classroom. If you're in an active shooter situation, can you perform maybe a takedown and, and slow that person down, maybe get control of that weapon. We're just trying to give you more tools for your toolbox as opposed to, you know, grab a chair and swing. Maybe you can do something else. So Jay hoped this class would bring more trust to educators in themselves. I think that there's always a significant boost in confidence, and I think the way that you carry yourself when you know you're capable of more, um, oftentimes it will almost be a deterrent to a potential threat. And Hinderberger says this is one step in the right direction. I felt like it was my job as an educator and holding this title to step up and be that change. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Lauren Spencer, 5 News.